Well, grace, we are told, is God's unmerited favor. Anybody ever hear that? I would never argue with that. Because grace is indeed God's unmerited favor. There is a favor that God brings to our lives that we do not deserve. There's nothing we can do to earn it. There's nothing we can do to crawl across broken glass in order to get God to approve of us or anything like that. Uh, grace is unmerited favor. But grace is also something much more than unmerited favor. And even though it might seem like it's a small error, it has left us with a generation of people who profess Christ but are really very self-serving in their approach to life. Grace will transform us. Grace will take away that self-centered focus and it will produce a heart of selfless love. And so we've made an error here that really needs to be addressed. So my point is this, that grace is multi-dimensional. It is not a one-dimensional concept. Peter writes in 1 Peter 4, 10, As each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Now, one of the things I like to do is get into a, a passage of Scripture, a verse or something, and study out the meaning of the words, the original language words and uh, you know, the, the richness of the meaning, and then I'll come up with my own translation. And I've made a lot of progress. I think I'm up to about five verses at this point. And I, I call it the Bob's translation. So that's, that's what you're seeing here in your notes. Here's the Bob's translation of 1 Peter 4.10. As each one has received a grace gift, use it in serving one another as responsible and effective managers of the multifaceted grace of God, which manifests itself in many different ways. The grace of God is not one-dimensional by any means. You could almost picture grace as a diamond, a dazzling diamond with all of these different facets. And, and each way you turn it, you find a new angle, you find a new sparkle, you find a, a new value, something of beauty. And whenever we oversimplify grace to simply being the, the unmerited favor of God, it's like we're taking one of those facets and we're saying, this is grace. And it is true, that facet is grace, but if we take a step back and we look, we realize that there are so many more facets to this grace. And if what we do is we just stick with the one dimension, we end up with a perspective that is incomplete and limited, and the end result of that is going to be error. So we really want to take a step back and we want to look at this concept of grace from a larger perspective. 